Uh, I've also received reports uh, in the last hour of people uh, allied with the protesters assaulting RCMP officers. Unfortunately, it was a relatively minor collision, um, but a confrontation which led to an assault took place as a direct result of that collision. And that was an assault on an RCMP officer? No, that was an assault between the two, two, two civilians, between a protester and a civilian. So Jason Kenney's statement was not true at, at the press release? I can tell you what I just told you, sir. Okay. But what Jason Kenney said yesterday is not okay. And it's time to answer. It's time to answer. And we just as people want our freedoms back. And uh, we're here to stay until that happens. And frankly, it is not helpful to be running uh, confusing and aggressive narratives against people without having all of the evidence. Sydney Fizzard and K2 here with Rebel News. Now, guys, there was a report yesterday from Jason Kenney himself claiming that an RCMP officer was assaulted at one of the police barriers on its way to Coots. Uh, I've also received reports uh, in the last hour of people uh, allied with the protesters assaulting RCMP officers, including in one instance trying to ram members of the RCMP, uh, later leading to a collision with a civilian uh, vehicle uh, in the area. This kind of conduct is totally unacceptable. Now, that individual uh, was named by the Western Standard, and we actually caught up with an individual who was at the scene of the crime, so to speak, even though there wasn't actually any crime. But Kian would know more. He was actually there. Do you want to fill us in? Yes, so there is a eyewitness behind the blockade who reached out to me, and he was speaking with the two officers who were there who uh, said that there was no assault, and uh, we have an update from him from behind the, the scene at the checkpoint. As well, we have Chad Williamson willing to do an update on this scene as well. He said, number one, that us as the protesters rammed RCMP vehicles, as well as that there was an assault on an officer, RCMP officer. When I heard that, I grabbed my phone, thank goodness for technology, showed the RCMP officers what he said. We're all in agreement. Sergeant Henderson has been awesome to work with, been working up, trying to get a statement from the RCMP. Nothing has yet happened. And we're here to tell the true story. We've been here since 10.30 in the morning yesterday, watching everything from that point and that point the whole day. We stood right here watching the barricade as there's a few, as, they were as, as two vehicles were apart. They snuck through and actually the police let them through. It's been a peaceful protest this whole time. So proud of it. But what Jason Kenney said yesterday is not okay. And it's time to answer. It's time to answer. And we just as people want our freedoms back. And uh, we're here to stay until that happens. Chad Williams and counsel with the uh, truckers. We are on day five of the trucker blockade down at the Coots border crossing. It's an early morning here and there hasn't been a lot of activity. Some enforcement attempts and threats were made yesterday, but I think the logistical issues associated with enforcement on this type of a protest, especially with some peculiar and large pieces of heavy equipment out on the highway and the sheer volume of them uh, uh, creates an, uh, an insurmountable issue uh, for law enforcement to actually conduct enforcement operations. Now, I don't think that that's necessarily to say that enforcement is not going to take place. That is what is expected here. But frankly, I don't think that it is helpful for people like Mr. Kenny to be making allegations of assault without having all of the information uh, before jumping to such conclusions. It's my understanding that the RCMP themselves are questioning whether or not that assault happened. And frankly, it is not helpful to be running uh, confusing and aggressive narratives against people without having all of the evidence. Um, we hope that this doesn't continue. It doesn't help to build bridges of cordiality, which is why we're here to try to de-escalate an already tense situation. So, so far we have an update from Chad and we have the update that you just heard from behind the checkpoint from two supporters who sent that exclusive information over to us. I've just got off the phone with the RCMP for a statement regarding Jason Kenney's comments yesterday at the press release of any physical altercation between uh, RCMP officers and protesters. Yesterday when um, we had protesters go around and breach the uh, roadblock set up on Highway 4 to the north, um, there was
there was some public safety concerns there and officer safety concerns there that took place. Their vehicles traveled through ditches and through fields to get uh, around the roadblock and then onto Highway 4. They were traveling southbound on Highway 4 in the northbound lanes. And that was happening at the same time we had a few vehicles leaving the protest and traveling northbound in the northbound lanes. So we had a uh, traffic meeting head on on the uh, double lane highway there. Uh, we did have a collision take place, uh, a head on collision occurred as a result of all this um, between a person trying to reach the blockade and a person who was just traveling north on the highway. Unfortunately, it was a relatively minor collision, um, but a confrontation which led to an assault took place as a direct result of that collision. And that was an assault on an RCMP officer? No, that was an assault between the two, two, two civilians, between a protester and a civilian. So Jason Kenney's statement was not true at, at the press release? I can tell you what I just told you, sir. Okay, all right, and can I get your name and badge number, please? Uh, you can have my name, it's Corporal okay. Curtis Peters. I'm the spokesperson here. My badge number is 52957. I've never been asked that before. <laughs> Standard procedure, Ross. Thank you so much. We're going to continue to follow the story and continue to give you updates as we go. We're doing live updates on Twitter at Kean Simone 44 and at Sid Fazard. Please stay tuned. We are going to follow the story, like I said, as it, as it develops. But as of now, it is confirmed that Jason Kenny has lied. He has propagated propaganda, just like Justin Trudeau. Yeah, and we're gonna give, we're gonna keep you guys updated on this situation. And remember, if you want to help these truckers and their legal counsel, which is fighting tooth and nail for them right now, you gotta go to truckerlawyer.ca. Rebel News, Kian Simone, this is Sydney Bizarre. Chad Williamson is here as counsel for these truckers. You can help them in their legal defense at truckerlawyer.ca.